Hello Lola's, <laughs> welcome back to my channel. And here's another video where I'm just talking about just different things, just as I think it, I say it, and I'm recording it. So, as you guys know, this is Noah and Nigel, and I've had Noah for about a year. I've had Nigel for, I don't know how long, a couple months. Um, and one is the Willow Asleep, one is the Willow Awake. They're both um, prototypes, completed, sculpted, you know, painted, rooted, the whole nine yards by Claire Teller. Um, and again, I just want to say, I'm not fascinated per se with the person, Claire Teller. I'm fascinated with her artistic abilities to create, to be original, and remain professional, and stay out of everything in the forums and stuff. I don't know how she do it, because girl, I'd be like, the Wendy Williams show up in this piece. <laughs> no, no um, I used to be into following all the, the, the soup, but um, I really, really admire her work and her style. Um, the detail in them are amazing. I'm just gonna zoom in a little bit. Um, there is not no type of like flatness to her work. It's nothing simple. Um, every inch of their body is modeled. It's like crazy. Um, I have not reached even close to that level yet, but skin tone, I'm working on it, working on it, working on it. Um, but yeah, that's, you know, and of course, when you have this kind of work in your collection and you paint, um, it's not that I want to copy her work, but it makes you really push yourself and it makes you really hard on yourself because you're like, okay, this looks like this. And then that's what I'm doing. So I'm definitely at the start of um, the, the 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 line. So, um, but I'm, I'm proud of myself. Let me say that. I know I beat myself up a lot on camera and stuff and I don't want to come across as arrogant or cocky because I don't want people to think that I think that, oh, somehow I've made it and I'm so great and I'm better than. Um, I just want to say that I am proud of myself and the things that I have accomplished. Um, painting silicone is not easy at all. And just even getting the paint to stick alone is not even, you know, easy as one, two, three, like painting a reborn. Um, you know, I just stroking paint on a, on a kit and, and, you know, baking it and voila type thing. No, you got to make sure you mix and stuff correctly and all that jazz. It's like, I feel like I'm in a, a laboratory for real um, when painting silicone. But I wanted to come on and just make a blanket statement and say that although we say forever babies, nothing in life is, well, nothing in life is forever. But some people are collectors that collect for longevity and they collect and they don't sell any of their collection. It's like. There are some people in this community, if I ever seen one of their dolls up for sale, I'd probably pass out because it would be so, that shocking to me. Um, but for me, as you guys know, I sell my babies over time. Um, the longest baby that I had in my collection was Puck Santana, and he stayed for two years. And a little over two years, actually. And um, I probably would not have ever sold him. Um... But, you know, like I said, money comes into play a lot of times. I know a lot of people have money and they can spend it all day and not even blink. But I don't have money like that. I've never pretended to have money like that. Rather, people assume that I do. I don't. Um, I usually um, sell to buy. And usually it's selling my collection to buy others. Now I am selling my collection and my work to buy but I'm slowly slowing down on that because I'm I'm feeling like I've I have what I need or what I want and I feel like if I want a baby I can make it myself now and <clears throat> save myself some money and um even if I don't get all the details that I would want in the baby I can get, you know, close to what I vision it to be. So it works out for me. 
So, um, but I had said that I would put one of these babies up for sale. And to be honest, I know a lot of you guys probably thought it would be Nigel, but I really was going to sell Noah. And that is the truth. I was going to sell Noah. Um, <clears throat> hard decision to do, but um, when I when I slow down for a minute and you know and we all I ain't gonna say we all do this but a lot of collectors do this and it's not just me it's just that I'm more visible to a lot of people so you guys see what I do a lot but a lot of people go back and forth with should they sell a baby or should they not type thing and um but like I said because I'm on all social medias and I'm loud mouth and all that great jazz you guys see what I do and I'm a little bit more transparent like I let you guys pretty much go through the emotions with me because I put it out there and then I take it back and I put it out there and I take it back so um yeah I I I was gonna sell Noah um I thought that would put me in a good place you know as far as my dolly fun <laughs> and um you know, just take care of little things that I want to tie up. But I just, I just don't know that I can do it. I, I feel like these babies were meant to be in my collection. Um, because they both feel a spot that I wanted, that I wanted very much in my collection. Like, I love my AA dolls. I love the way that, um, Clear Teller paints the African American dolls um, and biracial dolls, but I really, really love her Caucasian babies, and I think she do the darndest in them. Like I think that she's very comfortable with um, biracial, light biracial, and Caucasian babies. That is my honest opinion. I think she is even more so comfortable with them. I don't know how she feels. I don't, you know, but I'm just saying from what I see in her work, I just think that she really nails those skin tones like amazingly. And I've always kind of wanted one. I've had some, you know, I had some, but I've always wanted one that was like on the border. And so Nigel is on the border, like seriously, he could go for a straight up, you know, Caucasian baby with a tan. I mean, you know, with some color, like maybe, or, you know, that have some Italian down the line, or maybe the parents are biracial, but both are, you know, I don't know. It, I don't know. It, he just, he's like borderline. He can be Caucasian. In the doll world, he can definitely go for Caucasian, or you can, he can be biracial. Um, and to a lot of people, they would even more so probably say without seeing him in person, they would definitely say he was more Caucasian, but in person, his undertones and stuff like that on his body and everything, he's definitely biracial. Um, but I like it, I, you know, and it, it, it's more familiar with me, with my natural born kids, it's, it's more familiar to me. Um, and so, of course, I gravitate towards it. And I'm usually not an awake person, which is very, also very odd. That tells you a lot about how much I love him because I'm usually more of a sleeper. So, and don't get me wrong, Noah does not fall short in any of those categories as far as detail, coloring, all that stuff. But Nigel is just, I don't know, I, I just... And he's newer, I guess, or whatever. But that's where I was going with that. But I am not going to do it. Um, I'm going to sit still. Um, after I sew up a few things, I am going to take a short break. I, can, I feel I want to take a short break, break. I always say I'm going to take a break, but I always come back. Because it's always something that pulls me in or I always have something to finish up. So I just sold my Dwayne asleep. So I'm packing him and getting him shipped to go home to his new mommy. Congrats to his new mommy. 
and um I have a custom that I am getting ready to do and then I have the giveaway that I said I was going to do and I like to keep my word so I'm going to do the giveaway. I may change the way that I'm doing the giveaway but all that will come in a video and um yeah so I think I am going to change the way I'm going to do the giveaway but I am going to still do the giveaway so I'm I'm really close to finishing up that baby. I just don't want to rush it and not put my all into it because I'm trying to hurry up and get it out there so I can do a giveaway. I want the baby to be a really nice baby as if I was going to sell it type thing. That's just how I am. That's just me. So that's why it's taken a little longer. And sometimes, you know, things throw you off and you can't work on, you know, your dolls, especially for me. This, this is a hobby, but it is like a little extra income for me. But it's more so a hobby. I have a full-time job and I have, you know, um, family and, you know, just regular life that goes on. Um, uh, let me turn him this way. His head been turned the whole time. So, um, so yeah. So I... I know a lot of people... Um, I don't know. I think people, it's so much judgment that goes on between this hobby, between being a YouTuber, between just period. It's just, you always find yourself kind of explaining, even though you be like, I, oh, I don't need to explain this. I don't need to explain, you don't owe nobody an explanation. But kind of once you start becoming on social media and you start putting stuff out there, it is kind of nice to let people know what's going on. Or why did she do that, you know, type thing. I think it's pretty cool for people to be transparent. Um, since they know that they have followers and they know that we're going to be nosy. And we want to know what's going on and why and so on and so forth. I've really... So, yeah. So, um... Ooh. Didn't realize your little finger was bent. Um... But, yeah... So that's that. I'm not gonna hold hold you guys any longer. Um, my as far as my Dwayne's go, the um, ones that are painted by Claire Taylor right now, that's also at a halt. I am. It's hard. I really like them, so I'm 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 holding on to them. I may they probably will fall back further into my private collection, um, so you guys might not see them anymore. But they're here. Um, the, I'm just trying to think what else. So that's that. I am taking forever to root my reborn, but once she's rooted, she will be available and be up for sale. Um, the rooting is going fine. It's just me taking my time. I'm slow. I can't sit still. That's my thing. I can't sit down that many hours. So I'm like barely getting it done. But I'm going to try to, put, I'm steady trying to push myself, but then I have a new project come up. Um, so, and real quick, um, shout out to Linda Plummer. Thank you for my gifts. I've taken pictures on Instagram. I've taken pictures on um, Facebook. Um, I haven't showed uh, Lily Grace in hers that she bought for her and you guys haven't seen, but I am going to wear my shirt that she bought me as well. Um, she sent me some cool happy mail and I suck, but I am going to get to sharing it. Um, I feel like I should share happy mail when people send it. So I am going to do that. Um, shout out to Gianna's Baby's World Reborn. Um, she's on YouTube, guys, if you want to follow her. She sent my grandbaby like tons of cute little um, Carter's outfits and... Um, so, and I did a little video on Instagram as well with, well, my daughter did the video. That was my daughter in the video. Um, and because I didn't open it up, I wanted her to open her stuff up. Um, and like I said, Sansan, uh, babies, um, she's on YouTube. She sent tons of diapers. Um, Lisa, um, 88, um, sent my grandbaby as well a lot of nice Carter stuff and um, you know baby you know baby clothes and um, 
uh, Cree, which is Kaysen's mom, which is, um, oh my God, I always, <sighs> naturally Lexi, natural, naturally Lexi, I think it is or something like that. Um, she, she don't, she don't make YouTube videos, but when she comment, that's what it is. But Cree sent my grandbaby like tons of nice, um, baby clothes as well. You know, baby clothes, mittens, hats, all that great jazz. Um, so just thank you to everybody. I hope I didn't miss anyone. Um, but I do appreciate all of you guys, um, so much, um, for the, the happy mail, um, Lachelle has also sent me happy mail before. Um, just, I just have really great people that I've met through this community and um, that I talk to, you know, behind the scenes and stuff like that. So I'm very grateful for the, 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 the platform and the years that I've been around, the people that I've met. I mean, I've met some not so nice people. I've had people, you know, that we've, you know, fell out and stuff like over time. I don't even regret those relationships or friendships because I took something from it. A lot of them even so I still care about them and wish them well. It's just, we just, you know, for whatever reason had disagreements or just fell off or whatever the case may be. But um, nevertheless, I don't regret meeting those people. Um, there's only, you know, very few people in the community that I could do without ever meeting and wish that I can erase the imprint off my brain. But even with those scenarios, it have taught me things about people in the virtual world um, and just life in general. So um, thank you guys. I said I wasn't going to make this long, but I don't know when I'll do another video this will probably be it. So you'll probably see a video before this and then this, and then I don't know. The next video that you guys see will probably be the get it giveaway video. I am in between time going to take somewhat of a break from social media. And, um, yeah, I, sometime you just need to step away for a minute and refresh and regroup. So I'm not going to say, Oh, I'm leaving the community. But I am taking a step back. So I'm going to have myself several seats. <laughs> That's what one of my, my old friends used to say. Girl, you need to have several seats. So I'm going to have those several seats for now. Um, until then, you guys be great. Remember that you are great. Don't let nobody tell you who you are. Um, be who you are. Stand firm in what you believe in. And sometimes remember that you have to walk in faith.